Hi, I'm Charles Deering, and if you're a scroll sawyer, or even if you're not, if you use spiral blades, you will get what they call fuzzies on the back of a piece. Now, these pieces are the front. Now, if you flip those over, they're not quite as pretty. This design is by Terrence Thomas, by the way. This is my design. Uh, so if you look look there, you will see there's a whole bunch of fuzzies on there. That's what they are, are often referred to. It's obviously just wood fibers, but they're referred to as fuzzies. But nonetheless, this is going to be a quick video on various ways to get rid of those fuzzies or a combination of ways. Uh, all the ways I show you can be combined. It's whatever your comfort level level entails. Now, this has a lot of open area, so it's considered more fragile, especially like the antlers here. So I'm going to show you one way is to use just hand, hand sanding. Now, I could just lay it on here and start sanding, but what could happen is the edges here could catch on the piece. So what I like to do is curl around like this. That way only where my fingers are pressing are sanding and I won't catch on the edges. Now, ideally you'd have a sheet of sandpaper that doesn't have holes in it, but I just grabbed what was handy. So I would also like to go with the uh, grain, but I can't always do that because we don't want to break this little antler off. So I'm just going to very lightly, I know the edge is still hitting, very lightly sand that. And what you're doing is knocking everything that's coming up. And to continue on that same area, you can use a needle file. And you're just basically cutting those fuzzies off from the side. Now, if the wood is very fibrous, then it could take a little more work than that. Now, this is just that one antler we're dealing with in this example. But you'll see that there's no more fuzzies on the back of that. Now, let me use the, the wolf here for a more broad area. Uh, to also mention that you can go back to doing this. I'll just do one little area because I want to show you the other examples. Let's just choose down here. Go across there. Now it's not it's knocking it is knocking the uh, fuzzies that are coming up, but they're still down in that hole. And again, you can go back to the needle file. And I'm just going to do one or one cut here just to show you. And just, you know, however meticulous you want to get, but that reduces the fuzzies. Now, a more aggressive way would be with a palm sander. And I apologize for the noise ahead of time, but uh, we can cover a broader area quicker with, with a palm sander. That scares some people because of... Uh, scares some people because of how fragile it can be, but it is more aggressive. <laughs> Now you'll notice it also knocked down the stuff, but you still got stuff down in there. And you're probably always going to have to refer back to this needle file. But another way there's much that is pretty quick as well for knocking at least what's coming up from, you know, it's not just sticking out the edges, it's coming up. Another more aggressive way that scares some people because of the, the fact that it's fire. Now I'm going to hang this off. Of, actually, I don't really have to, but I'm going to show you one example of why you want to move quick when you're using a torch. Now, if I just sit here and talk to y'all like this and keep that thing in place, it's going to burn it, obviously. Now, some people like the burn look, and it didn't really it didn't really highly affect the front, but you'll see the side is is complete, completely burnt. So you want to move quickly is my point. So we're going to come over here. I'm moving very quickly, also because I'm on a plexiglass table here but I'm moving very quickly and let me turn this off and you will see from the front that it did no damage. Slightly toasty, but not enough to look like it was laser cut or anything like that. And after doing that, all that is left, they will likely just fall off. But uh, if you want to go a little more, you can, but it still comes back to the needle file. These are just different ways that make the whole process a lot quicker, a lot less frustrating. And you'll notice when I'm using the needle file in an area I didn't burn, I'm using the edge of the needle file to knock it sideways. And then I can just sand it off just, just like that or file it off. And it's a combination of whether you want to do power sanding, burning or hand sanding, but those are ways to do it. If you have any more questions, 
I'm brand new to TikTok. I'm also posting this to YouTube. I want to help people, but I can't always think of what you want to know. So please let me know and I will do everything I can to answer your questions. If I don't know, I'll find out and share it with you. But I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch. And by golly, I'll see you next time. I hope you'll share and send this around.